good. Yeah. This is great. The Kevin Allen show. Yep. Live. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Hey, this is John Paul here at CPAC 2022. I'm with the man, Kevin from the Kevin Allen Show in Connecticut. Thank you, man. We're uh, we're we're uh, New England uh, blue buds, uh, red buds up here. Mm -hmm. We're down here, I should say. Yep. We had a great interview at our party last night. Yes, we did. Hence, my voice is a little bit not great. You need some honey, some uh, uh, tea and honey. I've already done that. This is about the best you're gonna get. <laughs> so we had a great. So thank you for uh, for your interview last night. Yeah. Tell yeah. tell me a bit more about your followers. Yep. And uh, now it's my chance to interview you. Yeah, it's great. So what a flip, right? So thank gonna, you, first of all, great night last night. We're down here at CPAC 2022. I am down here with Right America Media, which is a really large media company that's growing. I'm also on Law Enforcement Today's platform, which is really my primary. Uh, the Kevin Allen Show, we, we hit about 50 million on the Law Enforcement Today uh, that reach us each month. And it's primary law enforcement, military, and conservatives across the country. And we're just in the fight, just like everyone else, fighting for our, uh, for our country's future. Thank God. I mean, that's a big number. 15 yeah. million viewers. Well, on that platform, Law Enforcement Today, I don't, I can't say that I get all of them, but our platform hits it. That's amazing. And we're, I'm just privileged to be a part of that platform. So, and thank you for staying, for being in the fight, man. You told yeah. me, tell me a bit more about your your background because you started out kind of just not that long ago, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So I was 21 years in a corrections officer in Connecticut. Uh, got out of being a correctional officer, went into uh, well, actually sitting on my couch eating some ice cream after I retired at 42 years old. Said, "Hey, I'm going to run for office. I won first term by one vote. Won a second term as a first selectman, which is you know like a mayor. Uh, and then I ran for state house. And on 2016, during that great election, that this whole country." turned red and we had the greatest president ever, Donald Trump. I was the 45th House Rep, he was the 45th President, and I went to the State House in Connecticut and I stepped across that threshold and said I'll never return because there was more criminals in the State House than there were in prison. And I knew the only way I was going to really get things fixed was to start no identifying and talk about it. That's how we created it. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's incredible. So that, now tell me more about what are some of the specific issues that you, you, I mean I know you fight for law enforcement. Yeah conservative values. Right. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Start right with the Constitution. The First Amendment is one thing that I know we need to all focus on, and we have to work together on this because we're being denied our freedoms. Right now, parents across this, this country, they go to Board of Ed meetings. What happens? They're being shut down. They're actually being called, they're being called terrorists by, by the government. It is disgusting. So we need to fight for that. The Second Amendment, it's a priority of mine as well because the right to bear arms is the way we defend the First Amendment. So as we continue to focus on those things, then it's the rest of the stuff. It's the battle of social justice, which to me is a really important topic because it's really being manipulated or monopolized by corporate media to try to, to try to divide us. But you know what? What I've learned down at CPAC, and I saw at your function last night, was I saw a sea of all types of people. I saw black, Hispanic, I saw Asian, I saw white. It wasn't just filled with white men with gray beards like they tell us is happening. Not and by the way, all us, all us Republicans and conservatives, and I'm more of a patriot. We don't have, uh, we don't drink Bush Light beer and hang out at NASCAR fans, even though I love them both. Yeah. But that's what yeah. they try to paint a picture of us. That's, that's not right. what it is. We're just like this around us. Yes. Yeah. 100. percent And we had Ford Gato Blow. We had rappers. I mean, it was not like, and we had, we had uh, G Man, G Man from, Hill from the Sugar yes. Hill Gang. He Amazing. Was, I mean, the place was rocking, and awesome. you would never, ever, ever think that that was some kind of oh you know, right wing, whatever the hell the media paints us, right? Right, right. no, you could, Not listen, that environment last night, and then come to CPAC, look around, this is great Americans having fun, yep. and by the way, we it need is. to just unite and keep doing this stuff, we should have one of these functions every week, somewhere in this country, yes. and this is how we build this team. Exactly, exactly, and we want to, we want to be on the road doing that, we want to do an op score tour, mm -hmm. go USA tour, to do yep. this. I would love to do this every weekend somewhere. Well, I can, I can, I can suggest great? a very good spokesman for your platform, okay. the Kevin Allen Show, look at him, maybe I could be a good spokesman for that and help you guys create that opportunity. I would love to do that. I would love to because talk I to think you about we it. Could, let's talk about I'm a shameless pitch all the time, <laughs> I'm pitching all the time. I would love to, because you, you, got, you have just the right message, yep. we talked about the op score last yep. night. Yep. I don't think I can't think of anything in my brain out anything else that will really take down the house of cards. I love it. Of these scumbags and raiding them yep. hardcore like we do with movies and restaurants. We do it all the time. Exactly. And we only get the best restaurants, the best movies, the best athletes in sports, right? How we get the worst, absolute worst of the worst running us, running our lives. It's like backwards. I love so the op score and I also love the fact Let's identify the dirty money, the dark money, yes. the lobbyist money, those who are corrupted are trying Expose to take the, our rights away from us in this great, great country. So you're right on the same page. We're on the same page. I love Beautiful. it, man. Beautiful. All right, we'll do it. Get together, and I want to talk with you about how we can 
I'm open to. My we're voice is talk. so bad. We're going to talk. Yeah, no With more screaming base. tonight. you got to just talk <laughs> soft. Drink, get some honey and some tea. You're going to yep. be fine. I love being a part of it. Thank you for sharing right. this. You Thank know you. Rob O'Donnell with law enforcement today? I do. I don't personally, but he's with Kyle Reyes, who's okay. the guy who I work for, the CEO. Same All right. Guy, good guy, yeah. Rob O'Donnell. Yeah. Yes. Great people out there. So All right, brother. So we'll talk. You, you coming out with tonight to our thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your website? I'm going to give you a card so you have everything. In here. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to The Kevin Allen Show. It's www. Okay. Okay. Let's do it, man. Dot give com. me another card because I, I yeah, I'm gonna give time. you another card. No worries. And you know, Duck Kevin Allen. Allen. It's A L A N, A L A N. Even though they spelt it wrong down here, because some I think it was a Democrat that checked me in. To be honest with you, that's what happened. <laughs> but we'll see you. Thank you for having me on with you guys. Thanks, Thank brother. You, brother. I'll see All you right, later. So we'll Text see you me later, later tonight. Citizen.